Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. Now, the Eden County Board of Commissioners has voted to reopen contract negotiations with sheriff deputies in an effort to keep them leaving from leaving the department. Josh Sanchez is here for you now with how the county is dealing with a severe staff shortage. Josh? Sherry, this resolution comes more than a week after the Public Safety Committee proposed giving sheriff deputies $10,000 retention bonuses for the next two years. But that proposal did not make it to tonight's meeting. Now people around the county say waiting for a new contract will be frustrating. To make a motion and show my deputies who are here tonight who's supporting them and who isn't supporting them. I think they deserve that. Ian County Sheriff Tom Reich made a final appeal to county commissioners ahead of a vote to reopen bargaining with the deputies union. People who live around the county and former deputies expressed their concerns over reduced patrols and pressure on officers as severe staffing shortages hit the sheriff's office. One former deputy says low wages persuaded him and others to leave for other agencies nearby. It's not fair to these guys. I left, I was overworked, I was stressed, my home was ten times better. I'm just asking for something to help these guys. Debate nearly turned into a shouting match as the resolution was reviewed by committee members. Commissioner Blake Mulder, who oversees the Ways and Means Committee, says improving wages and benefits would boost recruitment, but would have to be done through negotiations. Frankly, you are a bargaining unit. You are coming to the legislative body and asking us to give you money. I think we have to follow the correct procedure and the process that we always follow, and that is we talk about it over the table. Several commissioners wanted a quicker solution. Chairman Jeremy Whittem says increasing wages through a millage had little support and would have to wait until 2024. Despite pushback from department officials and community members, the commission voted to pass the resolution to reopen contract negotiations. Now, Whittem says legal notices will be drafted tomorrow to start that renegotiation. The proposal for the $10,000 bonuses still sits in the Ways and Means Committee. Sherry, back to you. Josh, 